Hey everyone, this is Arier, and this is going to be the missing exotics from Destiny. Specifically, these are the ones that Destiny needs to add into the game, and it's kind of a wish list of sorts. Now, one of them, the dubious volley. I want them to add that into the game, finally, because they've seen, I, we've seen the pictures for months now. And Bungie, you keep teasing us. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, it'll be out. I doubt it, but I want to see that gun. I don't even know what it does anymore, but it's a heavy that looks like it shoots all over the place wildly, and I'll just be honest. It looks like a completely out of control hard light, and that would be awesome! Or even better if they have homing, in which case it's basically the needle, uh, needler from Halo, but with heavy weapons and a destiny! Which would also be. Okay, it could actually be terrible. You could kill your own team or yourself with it, but it would probably be fun to do. But that's the obvious one. Now, when you want to get into something a little more interesting, there's a few weapon types that Destiny has introduced as exotics that have over time become staples of the game. The few types of weapons that Destiny has put in, it's almost a series of them. Weapons that don't actually have a specific ammo capacity and they just keep refilling. The obvious ones are the Invective, which is the shotgun that refills over time, the Icebreaker, which was the sniper rifle that refilled over time, and then there was a series of pulse rifles which did not refill over time, but they respawned enough ammo when you got certain abilities or certain kill types. Uh, the Bad Juju and the No Time to Explain. Bad Juju was kills equal a full, set of, uh, full magazine, and the No Time to Explain was headshots are basically good to keep. If you don't get a headshot, you don't get the ammo back, but if you get a headshot, you get the ammo back. Both are very good guns. Now this is a three different classes of weapons, and we can even take it a step further and say that mm, the let's see the Jade Rabbit. If you got like maybe three body shots and a headshot to kill an enemy, you would also refund the magazine. Now with the Infective and the Icebreaker, you don't shoot as frequently, but you can shoot longer because you get ammo, which is even better in the Crucible where it respawns ammo. And for the no time to explain the bad juju, that would be great in PVE where you don't want to stop to reload. Which is also good in the Crucible if you can control those guns and make use of them. I've seen a lot of people use them to great effect. The one exotic, though, that they seem to be leading up to if their general use and creation is anything to go by is an exotic fusion rifle. Now, hear me out. There's been exotic fusion rifles before. We have the Sleeper Simulant, which is amazing. I've come around and I kind of like it now because it just hits like a mother. But that doesn't have respawning ammo. In fact, its biggest complaint is that it just loses all the ammo. You don't have many shots to start with, and when you fire them, you don't get many more to find. And then there's also the Plan C. Technically, there's also the Queen Breaker's bow, but I'm not going to count that one because that, that's really just a glorified sniper rifle with less damage, but a lot more ammo. But the Plan C is a fast-firing and, frankly, amazingly good PvP fusion rifle. The only thing it doesn't have, though, out of all the different fusion rifles they've had in exotic classes, is a fusion rifle that fits into the effective archetype of respawning ammo. Now, it doesn't have to have a large magazine. It doesn't have to have a large chamber that you can have a lot of rounds ready to shoot quickly. But it needs something that you can drag into the Crucible on, like, an Inferno match, and over a while, it will start regenerating ammo. We already have that for a few other classes, and they still work well. But we're looking for, and we need, and I definitely want, a fusion rifle exotic that you can just slot into the secondary slot and just watch as after maybe a minute of gameplay, you have shots already. You don't need to go into, an, like, say, an Inferno match where special ammo is not just controlled but almost non-existent until near the end. And you just get a, you just have it. Or when you're running around, you don't have time to search, and you just have it. It might not be right away, it might not be a lot, but just a few shots here and there off a fusion rifle are usually really damn good. That right there would make a very interesting gun. And it's an archetype they've been playing around with and expanding. Getting more ammo is something they've used, either in how you kill things, or in how it is just generated without having to do anything else. It's just one of those little aspects and it's definitely the exotic I have on a wish list. There is no way this gun shouldn't be in the game because it's just one of the classes that you need. Otherwise, seriously, if you guys think Bungie should do this, comment down below. I think this would be a really fun type of gun. 
Unless it's either pre-nerfed or not nerfed enough, in which case it'll either be absolutely terrible, but I'll probably still use it in PvE because not worrying about having ammo is kind of nice. Or it'll be absurdly good, and then they will nerf it into the ground. Yeah, that that's something they do. I'm looking at you. Literally every shotgun in the game. They're, they're going back and forth. Right now they're great. Before they were terrible. Then they were great. Then they were terrible. And Sometimes they try and change it. It just does nothing. Hmm. That's Bungie for you. Solid gameplay, but we bitch about everything else we can. <laughs> That's how you know you're a fan. Thanks for watching, everyone. And if you enjoyed this video, check the links up on each corner. They show other videos you might enjoy. And if you like, right in the center, that's the subscribe button. Press it. In fact, press it as many times as you want, as long as it's an odd number, because even ones don't count, apparently. And thanks again for watching. It actually means a lot. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Later.